So today we have a very special occasion. Um, it's our 300th video, and we decided what we do for our 300th video is do our top 10 list of our own personal favorite videos. And I'm gonna let Brian kick it off with number 10. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our first video on the list is one that Jay and I both hate to watch back. Yeah, you said you hate it too. Because our video skills sucked. Our presentation was awful. But it was just a simple dinner around the table with chicken nuggets. And it was a video that I was scared to death to make. But Jay convinced me to do it because he thought it was really important that in the fight for Prop 8 that we started showing who Prop 8 was affecting gay families because there weren't really a lot of stories out there like that. So without any further ado, number 10 is our very first video. Rowan. Hi, my name is Jay Foxley and I've been hearing a lot lately about how uh, the passage of Prop 8 is supposed to protect families and family values. <coughs> I'm a gay male who's been with my partner for 13 years and we have two wonderful kids. We spend every night at the dinner table having dinner um, with my family and I was just hoping that people could see that you know straight families aren't the only ones with family values. That the people in California, gay people who get married, value our, our marriages, our relationships, and our families. Okay, so that was dreadful number 10. Number 9 is a very special video, not only for me and Daddy Brian, but it's actually one of Selena's personal favorites. So many memories. <laughs> Selena, why is number 9 one of your favorite videos? Because it reminds me of when I was little and you guys sang these lullabies. We used to sing to you every night, huh? And we actually, we had a rule, we sing three songs. Yeah. And we actually, it's actually one of our most watched videos of all time. My favorite song that you guys sang to me was Rockabye Baby. Rockabye Baby. And that leads us into number nine, Selena's personal favorite. Car, okay. I have to cut you for a little bit. Okay, who gets to sing first? Okay. How are you though? I don't want to pick first. I want to pick last. Okay, there I go. I'll just pick a little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little song. Number eight on our list was something very special that Daniel did for me, and I will let Daniel introduce it. It was a poem I wrote to Daddy Brian for his 39th birthday. No, it's 29. <laughs> you wish. Um, and so it was special to me because, well, I've never done that. Mm -hmm. It was my, a nice poem. Yeah. Did anybody help you with the poem? No, I did it all by myself. Yeah, you're very smart. And it made me cry. He did. He cried like a big baby. <laughs> yeah. So take a look at number eight. So, it's my dad's birthday today. And since I don't make a lot of money, I thought I'll write him a poem. And I'll read it to you right now. Okay, so the number seven video was a video that we were all in. And it was actually a lot of fun to make and a lot of screaming and yelling to make because Brian fought me every step of the way. And it's our Bright A video. I um, still have nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> but I had, did you guys have fun making it? Yeah. Uh -huh. We had a lot of fun. And every time I watch that video, it makes me smile because not only do I think it's cute, but I get to look back and cringe at the fights that me and Brian had. And I can see every scene where he was kind of cranky. So take a look at number seven. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's watching just to hear what I say. It's Friday, Friday, gotta be me on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to what I say. It's parenting, parenting, marrying, marrying. So number six is a video that we have a lot to live down on as it's one that's featured in A Right to Love an American Family. So if you get to see the movie, this is your heads up now. But I will let Selena tell you why it's on our list. It's um, a part of the movie where Daddy Brian sneaks into my room and gives me a dollar when I'm four. And you find out, we didn't realize this was in the movie until we saw it at Skywalker Ranch. And Selena found out, what did you find out? that there is no real tooth fairy. Yeah. The tooth fairy was just on vacation and I was filling in. <laughs> so number six is our tooth fairy video. Check out a small scene. So today she lost her first tooth and she cried. She was kind of scared by it. And tonight you're playing what role? Yep, it's time for the tooth fairy to make a visit and we don't want to say it too loud because we don't want to wake you You're the up. best fairy in the land. 
Okay, number five on our list, we've chosen Ask a Gay Family, and there are lots of great Ask a Gay Families, and it was really hard to pick one. Fourteen episodes! Yeah, I mean, most especially we like our adoption series, but the one we're putting on the list is actually episode number nine, and that's because Jay makes a very startling confession. I don't know about startling. You know, and there's a part of me that believes that sex can be just sex. And your love can be, you know... I don't believe you believe that at all. You know, I think Brian has very intense feelings and emotions when it comes to sex. Go. Action! Number four on our list was a, a joint Gay Family value Sean Chapin production. And Sean's somebody that we love to work with because he has so much creativity and imagination. And he comes to us with all these props and sets and makeup people. But what comes out of it is really super amazing. And the one that's in our number four slot, Daniel had a starring role in. Yes. In what video? It was our King and Key video and I was the guy who opens the doors. The, the page. page. I I don't know. It Check was, it out, everybody. So it's the page, so yeah. You wanna read a book? You wanna read a book? I don't hey, would, would you like me to read you a book? Mm-hmm. Let's read this book. What is this book called? Uh The King and the King. The King and the King. You do look cute. On the tallest mountain above the town lived a queen. Okay, so the number three video is a very special video and a very important video for me. And it also made it in Right to Love an American Family. And I think it's it's well deserved. Um, and it's one of those, it's funny because when I see it in the movie, nobody gets up a, at this point in the movie. It's yeah. such, a, such a dramatic part of the film. But it's Brian's love letter to anybody coming out. And if you haven't seen this video, please, please watch it and share it because it's one of those videos that's just amazing. Um, it made me really proud of Brian when I first uh, watched it. I think I teared up a little bit when I read it. And it's an amazing video. So that's our number three, take a look. Those are feelings and times that so many of us had had to come through that we will never forget them. We made the plans, we found the pills, made a few cuts, wrote the notes, and stood on the edge of countless bridges knowing to the core of our souls that dying was the only way out. It was not. <laughs> okay, number two on our list. We're almost at the top of the list. Uh, number two was one that was really hard for us to make because it was extremely personal, especially personal for Jay. And it was one of those ones we felt it was extremely important to make because of the number of LGBT teens that were turning up in the news as having committed suicide. And the reason why it was so difficult to make and took so many takes was because it's a really personal story that was very hard for Jay to tell. You know, and, and it's probably a video that I would not have made if Brian hadn't encouraged me, and he actually, in the video, encourages me to continue to go. I just couldn't get the words out. You know, it's, it's a very difficult story to tell. So I thank you for taking the time to really encourage me to, to tell it. And sometimes the hardest stories to tell are the most important. But take a look. I woke up the next day on the side of the river and it was still raining, and I remember walking back to my car, being so angry at myself that I couldn't even do that right, that I couldn't even kill myself, you know, and, and I just wanted the pain to end. I wanted it to be an end in my life. You know, I, I knew that if I'd come out to my mother and my father and my brother and my sister and my friends and my girlfriend, that they wouldn't be looking at me the same. Number, number one! one! We're finally at the top of the list! <laughs> so number one video is a really important video to our family because it's one of those videos that we'll always look back at when we're like 90 years old and understand what an important day it was for our family. We basically drove to San Francisco to hear the courts tell me and Brian if we were still married or if they were divorcing us. It's the day of decision and it's one of those videos where it really was organic. It wasn't thought out. It just caught the emotion of the crowd and it caught our emotions. And it's one of those videos I'll always be able to watch. I will never forget it. Most importantly, because I have to keep watching it over and over <laughs> and over while I blubber on screen for 10 minutes. <laughs> Brian cries like a baby. So if you haven't seen Day of Decision, check it out. I'm not sure I can talk. I know I'm really angry. What they did was coward. Okay, 
okay, YouTube, our director says the video is almost over, but I wanted to ask the kids a question. So we've made 300 videos. Do you guys still like making videos, or is it something you guys get sick of? I like it. Like Every it. now and then I get sick of it, but... You get sick of it? Yeah, but... Well, that's too yeah. bad, because my plans for Gay Family Values is eventually to let <laughs> the kids take over the channel. I would love oh. for the channel to turn from a lot of the videos from mine and Brian's perspective to videos from the kids' perspective. So someday when you guys feel like you're capable of taking over the channel and talking about what it means to be raised by two gay dads, I think that would be a really cool idea for our channel in the future. So I would love to hear uh, your guys' opinions. I'd also like to know what was your favorite video? Do you guys have a favorite video? And aren't you glad we didn't do a top 300? <laughs> Until next time, YouTube, we hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we'll see you at 600. In Sparta! <laughs>